who are some of the other bands that have like you know who would you, who are you listening to now when you sure. when you're listening to music? I think I'm mostly uh, you know for the as a classic rock kind of person. You yeah. go back to the Rolling Stones, the Who, that kind of things is cool. really one of the things that I very much enjoy. But I've gotten more eclectic over time. There are some newer country artists, you know, that I like. And my daughter, uh, my daughter is a nurse here in Columbia, 25 years old. And so she, I will ask her what she's listening to. Yeah. And so you'll have some of these things going on. When I was a kid, I was a, a heavy metal kid. You know, I grew up in the 80s. It was hair metal. Cool. I wouldn't listen to country music, but I've tried to listen to some of that now. Yeah. Popular music. But I think I always go back to that classic rock. I mean, that stuff that's just sort of, that's where it hits me the most. Oh, that's fantastic. So I've got a question for you about your personal experience putting out music. I, it, to me, it seems like that would be something um, difficult to do because people are going to be judging what you're putting out there. I understand. How does it feel when you put your stuff? <laughs> do you, do you kind of get a little nervous about you know what's people's reaction going to be? I think so, and I think you can't control people's reaction. I mean, and that's the, the what I try to keep in mind is I'm only responsible for creating. And, yeah. doing it. and I think it's like that way in life in general. I mean, you know, when it comes to whether it's your job, people you work with or other things like that, or putting out music, you can't control what the response will be, but I still enjoy putting it out and you hope for the best. And do you like, do you like the process of putting together, um, you know, studio format music or do you like the performance side? Which one do you, which one's more fun? It's interesting. The performance side, I think I really, for the most part, because it's just, you go, Knock it out, and you're, you do that. I've also done some video production stuff, you know, with uh, it's uh, Brando Jones, uh, excuse me, Brando Jones Films up in Greenville, and it's almost a little nerve wracking. The studio, yeah. you can kind of do stuff over, but when you've got the cameras, and it's you know just like in any kind of situation, you've got these different camera angles. You're in your head thinking, I don't want to mess up. I don't want to mess up. You know that kind of things to see, <laughs> yeah. and so that really is. I, I enjoy that part. I'm actually going up Sunday to do uh, some songwriter sessions with those guys up in Greenville. But that part really can be. It can be a little bit nerve-wracking, and I think the more I do it, the more comfortable I get. Yeah. Yeah, fantastic. Well, I saw one of your videos, local performance at, I believe, the the axe-throwing place. It was something on, I don't know if it was YouTube or Facebook. Blew me away. Um, tell me a little about, about that performance, that story. Sure. Well, I had gone in. This is the craft axe throwing out in Lexington. I was sitting there with my daughter and her fiancé beforehand, and we're just talking, and this, um, this guy and his brother walk up, and the, the um, guy says, I've got a fiddle in the car. <laughs> okay. Got a fiddle in the car. He said, I'm going to go get it. Okay. <laughs> and there. He goes and gets it. He comes back in. He sits down, and, uh, and so I say, so, okay, I'm getting ready to play. I said, can you jam in G? Yeah. The key of G. He could, you know, and that's one of the things. So when we started playing, and I could see that he really was doing it, my daughter, I said, film this. So yeah. I've got several songs that we played. We wound up jamming for about 35, 40 minutes. Enjoyed the whole time. He packed up his stuff and went home. I honestly don't know who he was. <laughs> Never seen him again. But it was a lot of fun, and there's some video on my social sites that you know, can kind of show a little bit of that performance. We'll have to tag that, and I encourage everybody to watch. Because when I saw that video, and I read the story, this guy just happened to be there. It seemed like you guys were just so in sync. I was like, my God, these guys are made for each other. But... Um, that also kind of just proves, you know, like your ability as a musician to just play with somebody else. I mean, that's got to be um, a challenge for anybody, you know. <laughs> I think that's uh, music is a language, and I think of uh, you know you and I are speaking English. You know, if, if you were to talk to me in Spanish, I'd know a little bit because I took some Spanish in high school, but it'd be much harder to communicate. Music is a language, and if you speak it, it's funny how you really can have conversations musically with people that you might not know that you would jive with. 